So you, you can be happy post 9-11. That's exactly what happened. We saw this actually spike in trust among Americans. Remember this, uh, Larry, this uh, sign of the Cubs game? We love New York. All right, when did you ever see that? So the sense that we need to come together as a community, and I think that's really where happiness comes from. So Aristotle said, who's really the key guy on happiness, he said, you know, we're embedded in communities, and it's communities and our relation to them that make us happy. Yeah. Uh, so, so when we talk about, is happiness a feeling? Like, yeah, on 9-11 on and 9-12, we weren't feeling, oh, I'm so overjoyed. But that whole period, for many of us, was a really rich time of life, not one that we look back on and feel joy, but in many ways it did enrich our lives. How about events, like for example, where we have an economic crisis. Can you be out of work and happy? Not very much. So uh, people who are unemployed are much like, more likely to be depressed. And happiness is like a muscle. You need to exercise it. So we can talk later about specific things people can do to yeah, actually increase their happiness. But again, when you're worried about paying the mortgage and losing your house and not, no, you're not going to be happy. It's really going to drag yeah. it down. But one, one important thing to bring in here is that we don't really notice absolute levels of things. We're, we notice how we're doing relative to others and how we're doing relative to ourselves in the past. And when the economic crisis hit and everybody was a lot poorer and a lot of people were out of work, the surprising finding was that the national happiness level didn't go down very much because it seemed to be happening to everybody. We're all in this together.